Hello everyone. Today I want to do a video on the different picture modes on the C7 OLED uh, from LG, 65 inch. Um, we'll be going to the different picture modes uh, which the TV has. Um, the current mode which we're viewing is the HDR mode. Um, no, sorry, I mean the cinema mode. Um, which in my opinion is the most preferable. It also gives the most uh, natural like uh, footage. Um, this content which you're watching is 60 FPS um, 4K HDR content uh, from uh, the KT and Swartz um, YouTube channel. So thanks to them for uh, uploading such high quality footage. Um, let's switch to some other picture modes. Uh, right now we're in cinema. So let's switch up to um, Lively, which uh, gives a little more saturated look. Um, in my opinion, this is less preferable than the cinema mode, which gives you a much more realistic um, realistic uh, picture uh, picture mode. And we can also go to um, Cinema Home, which looks a lot like um, a lot like Cinema Mode, um, just a little more dim. Um, your preference could either go to Home Cinema Mode or Cinema Mode. I think they look pretty equal, whereas Cinema Mode, in my opinion, looks a little more lifelike, um, which is something that uh, Home Cinema Mode doesn't have, or is just a tad less. In both cases, the picture quality is almost lifelike. Um, Let's switch up to uh, cinema mode, game mode, which is the mode which essentially disables a lot of picture uh, picture enhancements in the to get you a higher uh, a lower input lag. Uh, so in game mode, input lag is on its lowest. However, the picture quality is little less than I'm. Uh, then I'm fond with, with in this mode, but with games it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you also have, um, yeah, these were essentially all the modes which uh, in uh, which you have in HDR mode. Um, when watching normal cable TV, you do have um, you do have a wider selection of modes. The reason why I uh, display this mode. Um, this type of content, HDR, 60 FPS, and 4K, is because this is going to give you the best quality the TV can offer. Um, the LG TV does have a variety of other uh, picture uh, changing settings, like I explained before in the video, using a 4x3 uh, cropping mode, vertical zoom, a zoom into uh, the picture. Which is actually quite handy because the detail stays essentially the same when zooming in uh, as opposed to the original. So you get a re really nice zoom in simply because uh, 4K allows you to see a lot more detail even when zoomed in. Um, yeah, my personal preference is still uh, cinema mode. One of the easiest to watch and most realistic. Um, I think the quality of the TV is truly great, the HDR does pop, even on this video, which is simply a YouTube video, but the filming obviously is very excellent. Um, fortunately, I cannot show you any cable content, as um, I usually <laughs> get into copyright issues. I can browse to um, see if there are any other uh, ways which I can uh, show you some cable content, so just a moment. So here you have a cable channel, which in my opinion shouldn't be copyrighted at least. So here we can test the other picture modes. Um, here you have cinema. This is eco mode, which looks, yeah, it doesn't look quite as good as you should. Um, personally, I would never put on eco mode. You also have standard, which is kind of between um, a lively mode, which in my opinion is extremely ugly and cinema mode so for most people standard mode will be uh, will be just fine but um, 
in this picture mode everything kind of looks ugly and oversaturated you really should have put on this mode in my opinion um, standard is what most people should could be watching is just easy for easy viewing um, eco uh, another one I it's not that bad but I wouldn't recommend it um, if you're going to buy this type of TV uh, you shouldn't be uh, worrying about uh, <laughs> about energy use of it uh, cinema mode is in my opinion most lifelike uh, if you're looking at this picture it's uh, it's as true to the original source as you can get uh, sports mode another really big um, no, don't pick this picture mode because everything becomes oversaturated. As you can see in this picture, the flowers look uh, very oddly. Uh, the woman itself looks like a crab. <laughs> so it's not a recommender. Never use this mode in my opinion. It might look like it en enhances the picture, or makes it more bright, but it's very, um, very oversaturated color and just looks very ugly. Uh, you have gay mode. It just puts off most of the correcting picture settings uh, in the sake of lower input lag. HDR effect, yeah, it's kind of okay, it's not that bad, um, it looks decent. Um, you can, with this HDR effect, you can either uh, turn down the effect, put it higher, put it lower. Um, yeah, you can use it, but in my opinion, I'd rather use cinema mode and just rely on original HDR and content instead of letting the TV do it. Um, next up, you have... Let me just check. We just went to HDR mode. You have expert mode in, uh, in the Lightroom, which looks pretty decent. It's uh, kind of like cinema mode, but... I in the end prefer the cinema mode above the expert settings from uh, for Lightroom. Um, next we have expert settings in a dark room. Um, also very nice, but I still prefer cinema mode. Um, so a short overview. Never use lively mode. Uh, live, uh, which it's called lively. <laughs> very oversaturated, very unnatural. Doesn't look very nice. Standard mode, you can choose this one, it's not that bad. Eco mode, yeah, it makes everything more dim. I wouldn't pick this one uh, unless you're very into uh, saving power. Cinema mode, my personal favorite, very lifelike. Um, displays everything as it's filmed. It's, it's not adding any extra colors or any extra things which aren't in source recording. Sports would would not recommend it. Uh, you can see you clearly see the difference in skin tones, which look very unnatural in sports mode as opposed to cinema mode, where things become simply lifelike. It's as the source is, whereas sports mode makes everything very saturated. Skin colors look unnatural. Not a recommender. Game mode, yeah, it's, it's decent, but it turns off some uh, picture settings, which I would rather have included. HDR effect, yeah. Mm, you can pick it, but it's, in my opinion, I'd rather have original HDR content than letting TV do it. Export settings, kind of like cinema mode, but um, easy for you in a Lightroom, in my opinion. Uh, export dark mode can do this in a dark room it's essentially almost the same as in my mode not that much difference uh, so there you have it <coughs> all the different picture settings with hdr content and cable content i hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for my next videos goodbye